Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be comparing a 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4 to a 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 AT4X so that I can show you guys the differences between the trucks and hopefully help you out with deciding which one you should go for. Now, before we get into the video, I do want to mention if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into the video. Starting under the hood of the AT4, we have the 3-liter Duramax diesel that goes through a 10-speed automatic transmission. It's good for 277 horsepower and then 460 pound-feet of torque. And this is the cool thing about the AT4 is you can get this Duramax diesel or you can get the 6.2 V8. So you've got options with the AT4. Going from that over to the AT4X, however... We have a Nash aspirated 6.2 liter V8 that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. It's good for 420 horsepower and then 460 pound feet of torque. This is the only engine that you can get with the AT4X. Obviously, you know, the 6.2 V8 has more horsepower. They have the same amount of torque, but then the, you know, Duramax diesel is going to get better fuel economy. But then diesel prices are really high. So, yeah, whatever. Anyways, going over the front end of the regular AT4, you guys can see here with the hood. Now, the body lines don't pop out too much because this truck is white, um, but, you know, still looks great. You can see the grille here that comes with the AT4. We've got the new signature C-shaped LED headlights on the Sierra. And then you can see there with the rest of the headlight. And then notice the coloration there on the grille with the GMC logo. You do have a camera there at the bottom of the M. AT4 badge there in the bottom portion of the grill. And then notice there with the fog light at the very bottom of the bumper, parking sensors on the front end, got the tow hooks on either side, and then the bottom of the bumper is kind of painted in black, which I think actually looks pretty good. We do have skid plate protection underneath as part of the AT4 package, uh, just under like 11 inches of ground clearance with the AT4. Now popping over to the AT4X, you guys will notice that the truck looks the same. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of interesting. So. You can see there at the bottom with the uh, bumper and because this has the same bumper as the regular AT4, it has the same amount of ground clearance, frankly. Uh, but there's a quick look at the hood. I, it actually might be like marginally more because the tires are technically like slightly bigger, but it's marginal. I uh, love the coloration on the grill there. Again, with the GMC logo there, the camera below the logo, you can see the same C-shaped lights. Now, obviously this truck pops a little bit more because of the blue color. Uh, so it's more of like the color rather than the actual accenting that makes this truck kind of pop out more. Parking sensors there, tow hooks on either side, and then obviously the AT4X badge you guys saw up above, and then the fog light off the side. So other than the AT4X badge and the bright blue color, the truck's the same so far. And skid plate protection underneath as well. And yeah, it's it's a great looking truck though, I will say that. But they're both great looking trucks from a front end perspective, frankly. And then popping here to the side of the AT4, uh, you guys can see pretty aggressive all-terrain tires with the AT4 package. And I can tell you guys, these tires do really well off-road because you remember I took that AT4 diesel. To, it was a 22 Limited, but still, you know, same truck basically uh, off-road and it, tires just grip really well. Now you have a two inch suspension lift from the factory with the AT4 package. It's a little bit higher there and you guys can see how aggressive that tread pattern is. Got your Duramax turbo diesel badge there, AT4 badge. And then notice here with the side steps. And then here's the stance of the truck. And with that two inch lift, the truck looks really good from the factory. Uh, and popping here to the rear, what you'll notice is you've got the leaf springs there in the back and then you've got the Rancho shocks as part of the AT4 package. And Popping over here to the AT4X, notice the wheels are blacked out so that it kind of has a sportier appearance. Um, but yeah, you got aggressive off-road tires just like the AT4. Uh, still have a two inch suspension lift on the front end. And so again, so far, the truck is uh, stacking up to be the same, right? And I just love the look of it overall with that whole setup as well. Now it's got your 6.2 L V8 badge and then you got your at4x badge there on the side that x is very important right got the mirrors that are blacked out and then popping over to the full side view you can see again the stance right it looks great um but again to the untrained eye it's going to look the same right with the trucks uh, they're the same height and everything and then popping to the rear this is the big difference. We've got, well, still leaf strings, but Multimatic shocks. So it's a three chamber system. Uh, they're, so they're the DSSV shocks uh, by Multimatic. 
and it's a really cool system. So damping on the AT4X is substantially better than the regular AT4. And then you have the high ground clearance exhaust tips, also part of the AT4X package. So basically it just improves departure angle slightly since they don't pop out uh, past the bumper. Now here's a key fob for the regular AT4. And notice you got the slow lowering function there with the tailgate. And popping into the bed, got the LED lights and then the handle that helps with getting in and out. And as part of that whole tailgate setup. And then you've got the power outlet down below. And then notice we have our AT4 logo there at the end of the bed. Remind you what truck you bought every time you load up lumber. Uh, now this does have the multi-pro tailgate. So basically just turns into a step, which is pretty cool. And has a weight limit of 375 pounds. So yeah, I, I think it's, a, I actually think it's a pretty solid system. And the only downside with it is that you have to lift up the tailgate yourself. But again, it's a truck. It's kind of like something that <laughs> you know you'd expect. C-shaped taillights here with the back end of the truck. And then it's got the bumper steps as well. Parking sensors all along the rear, and then you got the regular exhaust tips. So they kind of have that, uh, you know, squished look to them. Kind of how they've done the covers, so it matches the boxy design. Got another AT4 badge as well. And then going back over to the AT4X, you can see key fob functionality is identical. And popping here into the bed, <laughs> you're going to see it's also identical. Now you guys might be wondering on payload and towing capacity, didn't know like when I looked at the stickers both the trucks it looked like you don't really get any uh, of a di you don't get any bit of a difference between them basically AT4X there on the uh, bed and you can see the cargo light there at the top so yeah it, it looks like towing capacity and payload is unchanged with both the trucks now this one has the kicker sound system so take the truck off road and then you can use that to you know have some fun tailgating which I think is actually a pretty cool feature overall same thing got to lift it up because it's got the multi-pro then finish things up with the rear man this truck looks so good in blue by the way and notice all that stuff is the same tail lights bumper steps bumpers obviously you don't have the exhaust tips poking out the back because it has the high ground clearance tips at4x badge with the rear end and so other than the shocks right so far the trucks are stacking up to be pretty much the same and then notice here with the trim there at the top and then you can see the padding on the side and then notice with the stitching down below and then the brown piping as well and that's like an at4 color doing the brown throughout the truck you can see again there on the seat and then notice the behind the seat storage you can see it's perforated in the center and then notice the under seat storage as well and then you can see the floor mat system basically where you can pick up a little carpet which is pretty cool then we've got some cup holders right there then you got the vents and then heated seats. Then you have the cup holder armrest situation. And then, uh, by the way, legroom in the back of the truck is great, being you know a pretty large cab. Now this is where we can see some differences with the truck. So uh, notice with the material use, it's like the same, but the trim coloration is different with the AT4X, including the insert there, and then the stitching coloration also different, right? And then also notice the white piping. So there's another difference with the trucks. It does make the door panel and the seats pop quite a bit more having the white piping on it, I think. So even though the seats are the same seats, right, it looks, it just looks like the coloration in the AT4X looks cooler. So funny that they're able to do that, right? And then um, you guys can see there on the grab handle, I've got like the leather stitching on it, which is funny. And then uh, room back there is identical because cab's the same, right? Got same functionality with the cup holders, heated seats, USBs, and then cup holder armrest setup. And so other than, you know, the different coloration on the seats, everything is the same. Now popping back over to the AT4, you guys can see here with the door panel. Uh, again, look at the coloration on the materials and the finish. It also doesn't have the same stitching, actually, on that top piece. Another AT4 badge. Yeah, so the stitching is just like normal, whereas the AT4X has got like the weird cross stitching. That always reminds me of uh, the characters from the Coraline movie with their mouths. AT4 there on the headrest, and then notice the perforations again with the brown leather. Adjustments are on the side of the seat. And then you can see the pedal layout down below. And then notice there with the light control, and then you've got your drive line select, drive mode select. It has four wheel high, four wheel low, four wheel auto, and then also two wheel drive. 
as well. And then notice with the heads up display, and then you can see there with the steering wheel adjustment, it is power. And then popping over to the AT4X. Yeah, so again, carried over to the front. I love the I love the look of the door panel on the AT4X. I think it looks better, frankly, just with the different colors. They they're more appealing to me. And then of course you got that AT4X badge, and then again you can see with the cross stitching and then the white piping looks fantastic. Really cool design. And then you do get the upgraded Bose sound system. A lot of people are asking me on the sound system. It does sound a little bit better. Uh, like the the subwoofer is like the same, like in terms of like the the beat, right? Uh, but it, the sound quality just seems a little bit clearer with the upgraded Bose sound system in the truck. And then notice the power adjustments there on the side. GMC logo. And then you got the little floor mat insert that you can pull out. And then notice here with the controls are all the same, same driveline select functionality, all that is identical with both of the trucks. So you're not getting, you know, a benefit one or the other from that perspective. Again, heads up display and then adjustments for the steering, which is power, but popping into the AT4. And uh, by the way, we're going to go over a lot of stuff here in the AT4 and the AT4X. We're just going to go over the differences. So this section will be kind of lengthy, but then the next section is going to be like super short, basically. Notice the startup animation. AT4X does the same exact thing, except it, you know, says AT4X with a lot of the stuff. So that's really the only difference. But anyways, here's the steering wheel. Uh, so you guys can see here with the stitching there on the center portion. And then uh, notice the trim piece coloration. Controls there for the center stack, paddle shifters for the 10 speed, radio controls on the back of the steering wheel. And then notice there with the heated steering wheel function, cruise control, windshield wiper, turn signal, stock. And then you can see with the full digital gauge cluster. Uh, now notice with the uh, tow haul mode, since it's a diesel, diesel exhaust brake, right? And then you got your off-road mode. So a normal off-road tow haul, that's it. I don't have any other drive modes with the diesel. I believe if you get the 6.2 V8, I haven't reviewed a new 6.2 V8 AT4 yet, but I'm pretty sure you get a sport mode too, but I'll double check that once I'm able to review one, once one pops in. So far, I've only seen Termaxes. It seems like everyone's ordering the diesel right now which is kind of interesting because, again, diesel prices are high. But anyways, digital gauge cluster is fantastic. Notice with the infotainment screen here, you've got the backup camera trajectory lines. They do turn with the steering wheel, and you've got tons of different camera viewpoints here with the truck, so full 360 view, which is great. Wheel shots as well. Notice the zoom in there and the receiver hitch. Then you also have the view for the bed camera as well. So they've just done a really good job for me camera perspective. Uh, as for the rest of the infotainment system, you have like the shortcut bar. You've got that main screen right there, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. And you can see response time with the screen is fantastic. And then you have the auxiliary screen there. We can just turn it into like a little clock, which is cool. But yeah, I love the infotainment system. Start, stop button on the GMCs also looks really nice. Dual zone climate controls, heated, cooled seats, all that normal luxury stuff. And then this is important down here, so you guys can see all the controls for like auto stop, start, parking sensors, lane departure, tailgate drop down, stability control, health descent control, and then you can roll down all the windows at once. And, and just remember that section for when we go over the AT4X quickly. And then here's the shifter for the 10 speed automatic transmission. And a lot of people are complaining that it takes up space, but I don't know, I'm okay with it. I think it looks cool. Trailer brake controls, got a couple of cup holders. And then I love the new center console, kind of like the material use on it and then how it looks. And then wireless phone charger in front of it. And then notice the material use here on the dash. Really nice with the new AT4. Uh, similar to what you have with the Denali. And it just looks really high quality. And then we do have the dual glove box set up with the AT4. And you can see again, with the material use looks great like again it's huge improvement in terms of just the the appearance of everything throughout the interior and then popping up here to the top notice we've got the camera mirror system which is a huge bit of safety tech uh, this one doesn't have a center but you can get it as an option power sliding window there in the back as well and then just darker colored headliner but then you know just normal cloth trim so first off notice we have a terrain mode for the AT4X, so that's the first difference. You have a train mode, um, but the other drive modes are the same. And then down here, uh, another difference is don't have the window drop down button, but you have 
front and rear lockers. So you can do just the rear locker, you can do the front and the rear, so that's another big difference with the AT4X. And then the other one is, this one has a sunroof, and then also the headliner, right? It's not just cloth, it's uh, Alcantara at the top, so it looks a little bit nicer from a material standpoint. Uh, so there's just some extra nice touches. Now from a price point perspective, this is where things get pretty crazy. So the AT4 stickers for about $71,000 roughly, um, depending on how you spec it up, but that's like a loaded up AT4. The AT4X loaded up, you're about $77,000 uh, roughly. And so there's a $6,000 price difference between both the trucks. And so here's what I have to say. If you are not going to take the truck off-road, which I feel like most people purchasing an AT4 are probably not going to take it off-road, get the AT4. Because the extra money that you're paying for the AT4X, right, and that's not including dealership markup because, you know, since it's such a hot vehicle, there's probably going to be pretty crazy markups on the AT4X, especially compared to a regular AT4. Um then you're just spending extra money for no reason because frankly, to the regular person, they both look identical on the outside. So a regular person's just gonna think, okay, you own the same truck, right? And then from an interior perspective, right, it's basically headliner and different stitching and stuff in the seats and all that. So yeah, it does look slightly different. And I do think it looks better. I don't think it looks six, $7,000 better, right? And then again, if you're not gonna take it off road, it really doesn't make sense, right? Because most of the money, is going into those shocks and the fact that it has front and rear lockers. And if you're never gonna use those two features, it's like, there's no point. And especially if you're gonna lift the truck, I see a lot of people lift these uh, AT4s. I'm not sure how easy it would be to lift the AT4X with those uh, shocks from Multimatic, right? Because that stuff is set for that truck's ride height. So yeah, I think it'd be a lot easier to just do an AT4, to lift an AT4. So that's my two cents on it. Uh, so I think for 90, percent of people AT4 is going to work for that other 10 percent that'll actually take the trucks off road right AT4X is kind of like the difference between you know Raptor and regular F-150 right you have all these people that are buying Raptors and they're just posers right because they never take the Raptors off road and there's no point in spending the extra money for a Raptor they should have just gotten you know a Lariat and then you know done a lift wheel lift wheels and tires on it and it would look just as cool as a Raptor it'd be less money and yeah so there you go